The European Space Agency released data from uh, ExoMars uh, camera, and uh, what we see is a ball of light uh, with a slight extension. Uh, it doesn't look like a typical comet. Something unnatural is moving through our solar system, an object the size of a mountain, glowing where no comet should glow. Astronomers call it 3 I Atlas, but what they're seeing doesn't follow the rules of any known space rock. It's shifting colors like it's alive, venting gases no comet should have, and following a path too precise to be random. Some say it's just another interstellar visitor. Others think it's something far stranger, something that might have come looking for us. This is the story of a cosmic intruder rewriting everything we thought we knew about the space between the stars. And what it's doing now has scientists on edge. The Green Glow when astronomers first turned their telescopes toward 3i Atlas, they weren't expecting a light show, but that's exactly what they got. The object shimmered in the blackness of space, glowing an eerie neon green. And here's the catch. It wasn't supposed to. You see, comets can turn green, but we already know why they do that. It happens when sunlight hits a chemical called diatomic carbon, or C2. This molecule reacts to ultraviolet light from the sun, giving off a bright green color, kind of like a cosmic glow stick. But 3i Atlas? It doesn't have any C2. None. Zero. When scientists studied its chemical makeup using massive observatories from Chile to Hawaii, they found no sign of the carbon chains that would explain the green light. That's like seeing a fire with no fuel. Something's glowing, but the usual reason just isn't there. So, what's making it light up the void? Some astronomers tried to find a more normal answer. Maybe the glow came from carbon dioxide, a gas we do see a lot of around the comet. But carbon dioxide doesn't turn green. It makes the comet bright, sure, but not neon green. That color is something else entirely. Then came the weirder part. 3i Atlas isn't just glowing, it's glowing in pulses. Small variations in brightness that don't match what we see in normal comet behavior. Some researchers think it could be caused by a strange rotation pattern. Maybe the comet is spinning unevenly. Others think the pulses could come from jets of gas being released in bursts. But the most chilling theory, the one that keeps people awake at night, is that it could be an intentional signal. We've seen this kind of speculation before. When the interstellar object Oumuamua zipped past in 2017, some scientists, including Harvard's Avi Loeb, suggested it might be an artificial probe, something sent from another civilization to observe us. Now, with 3i Atlas doing something similarly unexplainable, glowing without a chemical cause, pulsing without a pattern, the question is back. And this time, it's even stranger. Because when 3i Atlas first showed that weird green color, it wasn't even near the sun. Normally, comets heat up as they approach sunlight, and that heat activates chemical reactions. But this glow started when it was still far beyond Mars, too cold for sunlight to trigger any known reaction. That's not supposed to happen. The timing, the brightness, the lack of normal chemistry, it's all just off. And here's something new that adds fuel to the mystery. In the past few months, new observations from the European Space Agency's Gaia Observatory have detected unusual spectral spikes around the same wavelength as the glow of 3i Atlas. These spikes don't match anything in the known catalog of comet emissions. In other words, we've never seen this kind of light signature before. Some astrophysicists think it could be a completely new type of interstellar chemistry, maybe carbon compounds that formed around another star, ones that behave differently from anything we've found here. Others are not so sure. They point to the fact that 3i Atlas's glow seems to respond to solar activity, flaring brighter during solar storms, almost like it's reacting to energy from the sun rather than reflecting it. That's where things start to sound less like astrophysics and more like science fiction. Could 3i Atlas actually be responding to its environment? Could it be listening? We don't have an answer yet, only data that keeps getting stranger. But one thing is certain, the green light isn't random. It's consistent, it's measurable, and it's coming from something we've never seen before. And this mystery light isn't the only weird thing about 3i Atlas. 
because while it glows like an alien lantern, it moves like something that knows exactly where it's going. The mystery of 3i Atlas doesn't stop with its impossible glow, because if its color breaks the rules of chemistry, then its movement breaks the rules of physics. And what it's doing out there, or more importantly, what it's not doing, has scientists completely baffled. The non-gravitational motion. When astronomers first charted the path of 3i Atlas, nothing seemed out of place. It was just another traveler drifting through the solar system, cold, fast, silent. But the longer they watched, the stranger it became. Unlike every other comet we've ever seen, this one doesn't wobble, drift, or change speed. It moves with eerie precision, as if it's following an invisible flight plan. Now, that might sound normal for something gliding through space, but here's the catch. Comets are never this calm. They're messy, unpredictable, and wild. They melt as they near the sun, and that melting process creates jets of gas that act like tiny thrusters, pushing the comet this way and that. Scientists call this effect non-gravitational acceleration, which basically means the comet wiggles as it flies. But 3i Atlas? It's almost perfectly still. For months, its course hasn't shifted by more than a hair. That's unheard of. To understand how weird that is, let's compare it to the last interstellar visitor, 2i Borisov. Borisov jittered around constantly, shifting speed and direction hundreds of times more than Atlas ever has. Even the legendary Hale-Bopp, one of the largest comets in recorded history, showed way more motion every single day. So if comets are supposed to act like tumbleweeds in space, Atlas is acting like a guided missile, smooth, deliberate, unwavering. At first, scientists thought the explanation might be simple. Maybe Atlas is enormous. A bigger body would be harder to push around. But when data came in from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it showed that Atlas isn't much larger than Hale-Bopp at all. So that theory doesn't hold up. Then came another shock. Atlas doesn't seem to be feeling the pull of the sun quite the way it should. It's not accelerating toward the sun as much as expected. It's almost as if it's resisting gravity ever so slightly not breaking physics, but definitely bending the rules. So, what could cause that? One theory says Atlas might have a strange, heavy metallic core that changes how sunlight and radiation pressure affect it. Another suggests it's rotating just right to cancel out the little gas pushes from sublimating ice. Those are decent guesses, but none of them really explain why it's so steady. And then came the wild theory. What if it's being steered? When a group of independent astrophotographers compared its trajectory to that of our own spacecraft, like the Voyager probes, they noticed something uncanny. The curve of Atlas's path looked intentional, like it was using the planet's gravity to slingshot itself deeper into the solar system, the same trick humans use to save fuel on space missions. Then, in late August of this year, the PanStars telescope in Hawaii picked up something strange, a brief, perfectly timed flash of light just ahead of Atlas's path. It lasted less than a minute, too steady to be a meteor and too short to be a normal explosion. Some believe it was sunlight bouncing off metallic debris. Others whisper it could have been something more, like a tiny burst from an engine. Of course, there's no evidence of thrusters or signals, nothing that screams spaceship. But if it were one, this would be the quietest and most patient traveler in the galaxy. And right now, this object is gliding toward a part of space where we can't follow. It's about to slip behind the sun, out of sight for months. When it emerges again, no one knows what we'll find. Maybe it'll reappear right where physics says it should. Or maybe it'll show up somewhere completely unexpected. So now we have a comet that glows the wrong color and moves too perfectly. That's already bizarre. But things take a turn for the unbelievable when we trace where this visitor actually came from because its origin might connect to one of the strangest cosmic mysteries in human history, the signal and the source. To understand how deep this rabbit hole goes, we have to travel back almost 50 years, to the summer of 1977. At that time, a group of astronomers at Ohio State University was running an experiment with something called the Big Ear Radio Telescope. It was built to do one thing, listen for strange signals from outer space. 
And on one perfectly ordinary day, they picked up something extraordinary. It was a short burst of radio energy, lasting just over one minute, that came through loud, clear, and focused, like a spotlight in the dark. When the astronomer on duty read the printout, he circled the signal and scribbled a single word in the margin. Wow. That's what gave it its famous name, the wow signal. What made it so incredible was not just how powerful it was, but where it came from, deep space, far beyond the planets. It didn't match any frequency used by human technology, and it didn't come from the sun, the moon, or any planet in our solar system. Its origin point? The direction of the constellation Sagittarius. And here's where the story gets weird. When astronomers calculated the path of 3I Atlas, tracing its movement backward through the galaxy, they discovered that it came from, you guessed it, the same general region of Sagittarius. That's right. The mysterious green comet that's behaving like a guided object appears to have originated from the exact direction where we heard the most mysterious radio signal in human history. Coincidence? Maybe. But the more you look, the stranger it gets. The wow signal wasn't random noise. It pulsed at a very specific frequency, about 1420 megahertz. That number is important because it's the natural radio frequency of hydrogen, the most common element in the universe. So if you wanted to send a message that any intelligent civilization would recognize, that's the frequency you'd pick because hydrogen is everywhere and any advanced species would understand it. Now imagine this. In 1977, a signal beams toward Earth from the direction of Sagittarius. Decades later, from that very same region, an object appears, moving slowly, silently, and perfectly right into our solar system. It almost feels like the signal was a message or a heads up. Of course, scientists are careful not to jump to conclusions. The wow signal has never repeated and there's still no direct evidence linking it to 3i Atlas. But the overlap in both direction and timing has raised eyebrows. And here's the latest twist. Just a few months ago, radio astronomers using the Allen Telescope Array in California picked up a faint, narrow band signal coming from the same patch of sky that Atlas currently occupies. It was too weak to confirm, but it matched the hydrogen frequency almost exactly. They're still analyzing the data, but if it turns out to be real, this could be the first time since the wow signal that we've detected something like it. Could it be interference? Sure. Could it be a coincidence? Possibly. But could it also be the same mysterious source finally saying hello again through a messenger that's been drifting toward us for half a century? We don't know, and that's the beauty of it. 3i Atlas has forced us to face the limits of our understanding whether it's a natural wanderer from another star system or something built with purpose, it's rewriting what we thought we knew about the universe. And as it slips behind the sun, hidden from our view, all we can do is wait for it to reemerge and reveal what it's really been doing out there. So maybe 3 I Atlas isn't just another comet. Maybe it's a reminder that the universe still holds secrets we can't explain. It came from the dark, carrying whispers from the same place that once sent us a single word. Wow. Now it's vanishing again, leaving us with questions too big for science alone. Was it a messenger, a traveler, or just a coincidence written in starlight? Whatever the truth, one thing's certain. The story isn't over, because the sky never stops talking. It's up to us to keep listening.